mind needs a place to rest. If it doesn't, it's just going to be wandering around all the time, like a person without any home. You can't lie down in the street because the cars are run over you. you. Lie down in the sidewalks, the dogs come and step all over you. So you're just wandering all the time. And as John Lee said, you don't have any good place to put your valuables, all your good qualities. So they get worn out too. So the mind needs a place to rest. Give it this spot right here with the breath, coming in, going out. Because it's only when it's rested that it can see things clearly for what they are. It's like trying to look at a tree. If you run around the tree, you can see it very clearly, near, anywhere nearly as clear as if you just stand still and watch it. Stay with it for a while. Then you begin to notice all the little insects, all the animals. All the little tiny things that you would have missed if you were just running around. Because when you run, everything is a blur. And so the few things you may focus on here and there, they're just disconnected snatches. It's the same with the mind. As we run through the day, we have a few little insights as to what's going on in the mind, but they're just disconnected snapshots. You have no idea what's connected with what. It's when you stand still that you can draw the connections. You say, okay, this branch is connected to that branch, which is connected to that leaf, and so on. And that's the way you understand what's going on in the mind. That way you can deal with the problem of suffering. You can see where it's coming from. It's not just an isolated snapshot of suffering. It's connected to something. And you were there when the original connection was made. And you were there throughout the connection. That's the way how you know what's actually going on. Otherwise, it's just guesses. You read something and it sounds like it makes sense, but you don't really know. You hear something someone else says, it makes sense, but well, you're not really sure. You have to watch the connections for yourself in your own mind, which means you have to stay right here as consistently as you can. So this resting place for the mind is not just a place to regather your energy. Or to relax. It's a place where you can relax and then watch and then come into an understanding. So there's not that many things you need to know in order to put an end to stress and suffering. They're all right here. What makes it seem difficult is the mind itself is difficult. It's always wanting to wander off and look into other things as well. You have to make this your top priority and stay right here. And that's how things become clear.